everyone. It's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here and if you uh, would like to subscribe because you haven't already, please do so by hitting the subscribe button below. Uh, as well as the channel here, you can see and follow what I do on my blog at annemakes.blogspot.com where I share a lot of DIYs, how-tos, and crafting projects. And today I bring to you a Dollarama haul. Dollarama is a chain of dollar stores that we have in Canada. They're like dollar plus stores. The items range from one to four dollars. And uh, following that, I will have a few other things to show you. I did get some happy mail from another company and I do have a little crafting project to share with you. So stay tuned for all that if you are interested in seeing and so let's get on with my Dollarama haul. So you may recognize the bag from uh, my Dollar Tree haul that I did a couple days ago and I've been good. I'm using my reusable shopping bags when I go shopping now. I'm, tr I'm remembering to bring them into the store. So uh, in this bag, I have to show you, I don't know if you can get the gist of it, but I, th I think this is such a funny shot if you can see. But these yeah, can you tell what this is? No. <laughs> these are the cats. <laughs> They're cats. So these are the cats that they sell at Dollarama for the Halloween uh, decorating. And to, be, and to be honest, I saw Tina haul the pink one uh, not too long ago. And I really wanted to get the pink one because I want to do the exact same thing she's going to do. So I'm do I'm completely copycat. I'm a copycat. Copy get get it, copycat. And I want to put this kitty in my future new uh, studio craft craft room office when that gets done. That might not be until January, but uh, I got kitty for that. And I also got a black one because, as you may already know, I. I have a real black kitty and I do love cats in general and I thought I would have both cats in my craft room and going to be used as a Halloween decoration but also as a uh, decoration in my craft room. Speaking of cats, I saw this at Dollarama and I could not resist it. This is part of their Halloween decor and it is a gorgeous glass jar with uh, like glittery black almost mercury type paint inside and it's the label that drew my attention because it is a dried cat fur balls <laughs> disgusting <laughs> dried cat fur balls uh, yes we can d we definitely know about these things uh, Unfortunately, we don't usually find them dried up uh, because we have a kitty and she has long fur. So <laughs> too much information, I know. And this jar is $2 and they did have other jars with uh, other fun sayings on them. And I can't even remember what they said, but this one, because we have a cat, I had to get it. So in my second bag, what I will show you to begin is some bags. That's right, some gift bags and there's stuff in here. Okay. So I picked up this nice big bag just because I really like the images on there, the vintage images, and I thought this would be would be nice to have for the paper itself. It also makes a great gift bag, but uh, I really, for someone who's like likes to travel and just likes to collect vintage things maybe, uh, and, which I like to do both actually. So this bag appealed to me and I just had to get it. And the other gift bag, and this is the other gift bag that really appealed to me. Um, this one says, smile, it's your birthday. And I just love that it's it's pink on blue and it's like a film, a piece of film strip. And it has this really old camera on it in black and white. I just think it's really, really neat looking. And um, again, I bought this mostly because I liked the print on it. I saw these pretty stickers by Studio 112. There are 18 in here and it is all these pretty 
uh, butterflies with uh, these beautiful prints. Um, yeah, they're, they're just very colorful, kind of vintage looking die cut stickers. So, and I think this was a dollar. I forgot to tell you, this bag was a dollar twenty-five. This bag was one dollar. The stickers were one dollar as well. Another one dollar item uh, that I got at Dollarama today is this K and Company Studio One Twelve adhesive notes. They are shaped like those little banners. Uh, they're really pretty color. These will be fun to put in some sort of friend mail, pocket letters, um, even to decorate my own planners. So I picked those up. Uh, they don't have anything except this for the iPhone 7 Plus at Dollarama, the Dollarama I go to frequently. And But I saw this, so I picked it up because it's a really good deal. This is the um, fitted screen protector with ultra clear finish, scratch resistance, custom fit, touch friendly, and uh, it is $2. I have been able to find some others at Dollar Tree, of course, or at Dollar Twenty Five, but I want to see if this one will provide a little bit more coverage than the one I got at Dollar Tree. So, and these are two dollars. I purchased some more of the photo magnets. These are six by nine inches. I like to use these again in my storage of my uh, metal dies, and these are a dollar twenty-five a piece. I can't believe it, but it is Thanksgiving weekend, and I picked up some of these nice paper plates. There are eight in here. They are the eight and three quarter inch in diameter plates, and the eight plates are a dollar twenty-five. So to go along with the uh, napkin, uh, the paper plates, I bought a package of these napkins. Uh, there's 16 in here, and these are also $1.25. And I have used uh, the same napkins this week. We had a birthday party, and I did have these plates for the birthday cake. And they're very nice quality, by the way. Um, I don't just use them for crafting. I actually use them as napkins. But I, I do have a few that I'm keeping for uh, crafting purposes because the, the print is just so lovely. And on the back, it's... It's white with more leaves. My son was just in here, so I, I that's why I have to pa I had to pause the video. He was very happy to see that I bought him this. So I actually bought two packs, one for each of them. Uh, the Schneider's Pepperettes on the go, the dry original uh, pepperoni sticks. Um, they like to snack on these, so uh, he uh, he took the package. Said thank you, and uh, he's he's out of here now. <laughs> Gee, it works. <laughs> and just so you know, they, these uh, pepperette packs, um, there are one, two, there are four sticks in here and it is 60 grams. And these are $2, but not bad. I also bought my my people some uh, Twizzlers. Uh, these are $1.50 for these strawberry flavored 250 grams. I get these for uh, 25 cents less at Dollar Tree, I know, but um, I was at Dollarama, so I got them. Then I picked up, of course, the other snacks that my family likes, uh, such as the 10 pack of mini O. Henry bars, chocolate bars, the 10 pack of mini Coffee Crisp candy bars, and the 10 pack of mini Kit Kat uh, candy bars. And each of each of the candy bars are $2. A couple other things that I picked up while I was in the kitchen section is this box of zipper seal storage bags. There are 30 in here. These are the ones that measure seven by eight inches. I am hoping to use these in combination with the magnetic sheets um, to store some dies. And um, and this the box of zipper seal freezer bags is one dollar at Dollar Rent. I also picked up a package of these professionals uh, pastry brushes. There are two on here. 
and these are a dollar twenty-five. And I got the flavor injector. It is a Rama Design um, product, and this is a basically something to inject the turkey with its own juices to even make it juicier this weekend. Because, um, and this is two dollars. Because if if you are from the U.S. and you're watching my video right now, uh, we have Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, this weekend and on Monday we celebrate on Monday that's coming up we are celebrating Thanksgiving and we will be cooking our turkey so got this for making turkey juicy I also picked up this uh, pack of eight paper cups that hold nine ounces each they coordinate with the plates and napkins I just purchased and these are a dollar twenty five I, this is a repurchase of mine, the 10 bag roll of scented garbage bags in blue for my recycling for $1. Some decorations I picked up, especially for this weekend. I had not noticed these uh, before because I would have bought them. And these are a felt garland. Apparently it is four feet long and it is these pretty pumpkins. And this, this is two dollars. I also purchased this felt garland, which is in the shape of these maple leaves, and it is also supposed to be four feet long, and it is also two dollars. This is another repurchase of mine, um, the Extra Strength Carpet Odor Eliminator by Arm and Hammer with OxyClean. And this is a big 700 gram box and it is two dollars and fifty cents. I, I do and I do love using this on um, the rugs that we have in our room and our rooms. Oh this is this is something very funny and kind of frivolous but I treat I'm treating myself to this. This is a scotch magic tape dispenser and it is a flower in a vase. <laughs> and I just thought it was adorable and I could use this to uh, decorate my desk. And this was $3.50. So basically you just put your roll of tape in there and there's the cutting part right there. So, well the roll of tape goes around the flower part here and then there's the cutter there, so. Uh, my Dollarama had a lot of these little punches for your paper crafting. It, Call it mini craft punch. These are a dollar twenty-five a piece, um, and at the back you can see. So if you want to pause this, or uh, yeah, do you want? I want to stop the video so you can see all the images. These are the mini craft punches uh, that are available. I already have a lot of these other ones and in different punches that I already have, but I'm pretty sure I did not already have this little penguin guy and this moon. So um, that's why I purchased just these two. But uh, this is a good price, $1.25 for these little craft punches. They're great for making confetti sized punches. There were some new uh, hair accessories. And this, oh, this is interesting. This one says, oh, that's not it. There were some new uh, hair accessories uh, by Amazing. There are seven pieces on here. I guess there are two, uh, two of these barrettes and uh, five of the um, boppy pins. And they are available in this gold in this shape and in the silver in this shape. So I got one of each and they are $1.25 and I also got this design in silver and one in the gold as well. And it looks like I accidentally bought another one, so this will probably be given to a friend. This was new, my Dollarama. It is a K and Company uh, craft product. These are 
craft sticks. So basically they are decorated popsicle sticks or stir sticks if you want, if you prefer. So the my Dollarama had them available in this white and gold and the white and black here. So I purchased one of each because I have no clue what I would do with these and why I would buy these, but I just had to because I didn't want to come home and say, oh, I should have bought this because I could make such and such a thing. I got some more hair barrettes. Uh, these are by the Scunchi brand. They are the no slip grip uh, hair barrettes and the four of these are a dollar fifty and I, I like they're a little bit more flexible they have the plastic is not hard and rigid and the clips have this rubber cover on them so that's how they grip uh, hair better in the tool section um, they had this professional tweezer set and I thought it was a really good buy because you get all seven pieces here of these tweezers for two dollars and fifty cents and if you do a lot of DIYs you repair things around your house you do crafts uh, these come in pretty handy uh, whenever you are needing to grab something and it's it's kind of small and so I got these I thought we all of us will uh, be able to use these and uh, be grateful to have them when we're working on something that requires precision. So that's a pretty good deal for $2.50. I purchased this, uh, it's a trivet really, it's not a cutting board, but it's because it's cork and it's in the shape of a kitchen cutting board, but it's, it's cork on this side and this is just particle board. And I thought this not only will make a good trivet for things I take out of the oven, but I like that it already has a conversion chart on it. And so many times I am looking at a recipe and um, it's, it's in one measure and my tool is in the other, like uh, it'll be in a metric measurement and I have an imperial measuring cup or vice versa. So this is kind of neat to have. And so I got this, and this is $2.50. I purchased also this Living Neon Majestic Ocean coloring book. A lot of the pages have a black background and a white print. So this is really, uh, this looks really, really cool when you color with bright, pencils or gel pens or neon markers uh, it's just you just get some really cool images afterwards there's some black and white also but there's a lot of uh, white on black and I chose this because uh, I just thought it would be re really cool to do uh, all this these fish and ocean creatures and you know plants just thought it would be fun to color that and uh, last but not least I picked up this book it's called sweet tables uh, but do not let the title fool you it is actually a book that is in French so if you see this book it's okay it, but it's still worth buying because it's all about making decorations and party favors and supplies for parties and it's about making it all pretty and so you get all the instructions to make these things that you see here and so and this is what it looks like inside so if, let's say you want to make this but there's good visuals to show you how to put something together. And at the back, there are designs that you can uh, copy or cut out of the book if you want, but I would just copy them. So you can make many of the same projects. And there are templates for you to cut out 
the things you see in there. There's some beautiful images to use here. And even if you don't want to use this, like I'm thinking I'm, I might not just use this to make um, party decorations, but I could use this in my art making, my crafting. So you have all these things inside. So then of course the images inside are really cool. You get lots of ideas for how to decorate a table, but you also get other like paper crafting ideas. If you want to make a circus theme, say there's tickets here. So uh, this little book was $4 and I think it was well worth it. That is that for my Dollarama haul today. And I want to show you, uh, if you uh, stick around, I want to show you something I made over the weekend while I was at my crop. It is, it was my son's birthday a couple days ago, so I had made him a birthday card. And this is the birthday card I had made him. So being a guy who is into tech stuff and video games, I, I made him this card. And while I was making it, I had a lot of friends who were asking me, where'd you get the paper? How'd you make it? Uh, so I did let them copy the card uh, right there on the spot and I gave them you know, this, the leftovers of my paper, uh, but uh, that's all I had with me. So the stack of paper I used is actually an old stack. I've had this for a long time, uh, but I've used it many times. It was from DCWV and it was the Generation Tech stack. And so you could see all the designs. And I chose this, like I said, I bought this several years ago because I have guys who are really into uh, video games and all that techy stuff. So uh, I've made several <laughs> projects with that pack for, for my guys. And, uh, oops, here's another Dollarama item. I found the cutest bracelet, and if you, there's a kitty charm on it. And there's a lady, and it's these beautiful beads. And I just had to get it because of kitty. I had to get this because of the kitty cat on there. And this bracelet, it's a, just an elastic bracelet, like that. You don't wear the cardboard, you take the cardboard off. Uh, it's two dollars. So I just thought this was a lovely bracelet. And just in case someone I know uh, wants one, I got you one. So <laughs> there were two and I got the two that they had, one for me and one for somebody that I think might want one of these. So I got, that was Dollarama. And the other thing I wanted to share with you is that I, two other things I want to share with you. I received some happy mail today. I had perch, I had ordered and purchased some metal die cuts from AliExpress. And I received uh, two of them today. And one, of, one that I had ordered was this set of cutting dies to cut circles and emboss a stitching line around them and these were a dollar this came out to a dollar with the free shipping i also purchased and received this one which is uh, like rectangles a set of rectangles with a stitch line inside as well and these were also a dollar free shipping so uh, i've purchased a few dies from aliexpress and i have been very pleased with them so um if you want to check them out, I don't get anything, like I'm not an affiliate, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I make no money from telling you this, but I just thought that it was really neat to, uh, it's really fun, it's really neat to know that we can order some of these dies that normally we would pay a lot more. Uh, so you can get these from other sources. And finally, and finally, I want to share with you uh, that I received some products from Amazing Casting Products today. I got the high gloss resin. 
I got a box of the high gloss resin. Amazing clear cast, uh, super, and it is transparent, and it is to make resin items. Um, and with that, I also got a the mold making and casting made easy product. So this is what you make the mold with to make any object that you would like to make and you pour the resin in here to make the resin object. They also sent me a bottle of this Alumilite, Alumilite uh, dye. The Alumilite dye, this, you use this to dye the resin a certain color. This one is orange and two little jars of alumilite uh, dust, I believe it's called. And this one is in pewter, like silver, little metal. And uh, this one is pearl. And I have seen uh, these used on the uh, resin products and it has just a beautiful effect. So this will be part, these products will be shown in a project that I have to make and that will be on my blog, it will be live on my blog October 19th and from there there will be links to go see other projects with a Halloween kind of scary feeling uh, theme to them. Uh, it doesn't have, to, they might not all be Halloween but that's the idea and uh, there will be other Link, there will be links to designers who have made projects with similar, the same product but in different colors. So if you're looking for some inspiration or want to know how this product is used or how to use resin, uh, please uh, go check out uh, my blog and on October 19th. And finally, that is really that for my haul and my happy mail. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please uh, give this a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Please give this a thumbs up uh, if you like. Uh, please also like, comment, share, and take care of yourself. And I will see you after my next haul or project. Take care. Bye.